So Lucy and I are struggling with where to put Ava's crate because we put it in the kitchen, but then we want to get a dresser. We tried it under here, but it looks a bit messy. And then we thought, well, why don't we turn this cupboard into Ava's crate? Put some different doors on that have bars so she can see out and breathe. And it could be a built-in crate. But I just want to see how Ava sort of fits in here. So she's going to absolutely hate it because <laughs> she's a scaredy cat. But I just want to see how much room she has if this was her bed. Go on in. Oh, good. I think that would be okay, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because she'd be lying down most of the time because it's mm -hmm. where she sleeps. We need to like cover up these pipes. We felt them while the heating's on and they're cold. So I don't think that they're hot pipes, but we just want to make it safe. But yeah, it'd be nice. These doors would be like crate kind of material. Mm. And it'd be a nice cozy bed. Go on then. Good girl. She loves she it. She loves it. Oh. She did bang her head there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Ava? Yeah? <laughs> Maybe. Cool. So very excitingly, Ava's custom made gate has arrived. So I had this custom made. They're so busy at the moment. I believe it's because Mrs. Hinch, the Instagrammer has uh, promoted them and they have boomed. Like they're apparently rushed off their feet. Orders are now taking months and months and months. I was lucky enough to get in there, basically ordered it, custom measurements. It's absolutely beautiful. Very, very solid, very heavy. It's got their nice little logo on there. Yeah, so my next task is to take these doors off. And the problem is, these doors are very, very old. And as you can see, they've been painted over. I mean, that one's not painted over because I've just scratched it all off. But it's very hard to get out. I might have to rip them. Oh, Ava, you got in there voluntarily. Well done. This is going to be your new crate. Yeah, you're going to love it, aren't you? And then also what we're going to do is box in these pipes. Um, and just make this a livable home for Ava. It's gonna be so good. Right, I managed to do it. I actually had to wrench them off. Oh my gosh, so excited to get rid of these hideous doors. Right, I've just saved the knobs um, because we've actually got the old knobs from these cabinets as well. So there's six of them. So with those doors, there's eight of them and I'm gonna put them on a website where you can give away stuff for free because I'm sure someone will wanna use these eight doorknobs for something because they're not bad. I think someone might have replaced the doorknobs at some stage, but yeah, other than that, these doors are so old. Look how yellowy they are and blotchy. The previous owner, I think, was here for about six years or something. And I honestly don't think they really did anything to this place. Because I've seen photos from when it was on the market, like the time before we bought it. And it looks pretty much exactly the same. I think they put carpets down and they might have painted. But other than that, I don't think they've changed anything. So, yeah, this house is really going to get a new lease of life with us living here. Hey guys, so this is literally two months later. Nothing has happened with Ava's bed under the stairs. I've been umming and ahhing between, should I just box in the pipes? Should I just learn how to do it? It can't be that hard. And then just thinking, looking at it and going, nah, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I'd rather pay someone to do it. And then just procrastinating and just not paying anyone to do it. So finally, I got in touch with a handyman slash carpenter. Can you just do this? How much would it cost? So. Yesterday he came, he did it, it cost me £135, which I didn't think was too bad considering it took him two hours to do it. And if it took him two hours, a professional, it would have taken me two days. Like honestly, and it wouldn't look as good. It looks amazing, let me show you. So obviously you saw the before, and this is gonna be Ava's bed, but this is what it looks like. So they've been boxed in really, really nicely. The pipes, the cables, everything is under there and it just looks great. So there's still quite a lot to do in that I wanna make that box a bit comfier, so I might cover it in carpet just so it's a bit softer and stuff and it will hopefully discourage Ava from chewing um, on the box itself because she does sometimes like to chew skirting boards. And then the next thing for me to do, which I'm gonna try and do right now, is the gate fits in three corners but clearly the hole is not completely even because it catches on one side, it doesn't quite fit. So I've got an electric sander, I'm gonna sand down that bit and try and make sure that the door can fit, that is the next step. So let's do it. I'll just show you what I mean. Once the door goes into the hole, it fits, except for this one little corner. So it just needs some sanding down. Worst case scenario, if it doesn't sand down, then I'll need to get some sort of saw or a wood planer, just, or a chisel just to take out more. But let's give this a go. Okay, 
So we're pretty much done. This is good. This didn't, it wasn't as hard as I thought. I think I need to take a tiny bit more on, but it fits in the gap. So this is good because my dad was like, you won't be able to sand it. You're going to need to get like a saw and like plain bits off. So dad, I managed to do it. It's all the DIY you've taught me. I'm, I'm very capable, clearly. Um, <laughs> no, I'm really chuffed that I'm getting it sanded down. I've, I've done a bit on that side. As you can see, the paint's coming off and on this side as well, all the paint is coming off. Hello, it's the next day, it's day two, and I just need to do some more sanding. Basically, there's still a bit more, it still keeps catching, so I'm just having to keep shaving it and checking it and shaving it. But I also just need to sand the entire thing. So as you can see, the old holes to the old doors, the old hinges, they're really rough and they just need sanding down, filling, and then painting, and it's the same on this side. And I've just decided that I'm just gonna sand everything. I'm gonna sand up here, because today I wanna repaint it all white as well, um, and paint in here too. Right, that's a bit better. It's a lot smoother now. There was actually a nail in here that I had to yank out. Um, what I've got now is some polyfiller. Um, I think this will do the job. Turns out the best way to apply polyfiller is by having a bit of a wet scraper. It spreads a lot better. So that's why I've got the water. Right, let's give this a go. Let's squirt some in the hole there. I'm just gonna apply it like this. Luckily, I don't need any hinges on uh, on this side. The hinges are all on that side, so I don't need to reuse the holes, and even if I did want to, I probably wouldn't, because these are really small, really old screws that they used, so. Right, let me just smooth that off, I can't do it one-handed. Right, that is all done, so it just needs to dry, and then I can start sanding it down. The ones on this side have completely disappeared, look at that. Good work, Joel. So this is actually all ready to start painting now. So I'm gonna do a quick hoover, clear up, let that dry for a little bit, maybe 10 minutes, and then whack the paint out. I've just hoovered up, but before I start painting, I just wanna use my caulking gun to fill some holes. Well, not fill some holes, seal some edges in there. So for example, the crack between this laminate floor and here, I wanna cork that, so that is what this is for. Decorator's cork. This is what you do. So there's a line down here, and then you use this <laughs> to uh, straighten it out. So you just run your finger along the edge like that, which you get so much excess, but then it pushes it down there. I did not need to put this much cork on. What did I do that for? Oh well, I'll pop it on this side ready. Please don't give me a splinter. Look at this. The edges are all sealed on this side and on this side and down here. But I have realised when I mopped up some bits, it's quite dirty in there, so I might just give it a quick clean. Right, so this is what we've got. We've got pure brilliant white and it's in an eggshell finish and it's for interior wood and metal and so we just need to make this good make it all nice and clean and fresh again and before anyone asks just to you know clarify it's safe for pets because it's an indoor paint so whilst it's drying it's not safe for Ava so don't worry that's why she isn't here she is outside however once it's dry it's perfectly safe for Ava do you know what part of me thinks this is the fun part making it white but actually I always get underwhelmed with painting, so I'm like, the painting's gonna be so much fun, and then you're like, oh, it's not really. But look at the color difference already. I mean, no one's gonna see this bit. This is just where the gate's gonna go, but for my own brain, I just need it to be brilliant white. You have to let me know what you think I should do. So for this big bit up here, obviously gonna paint that white, and before I was thinking, maybe I should get some stencils and spell out Ava's bedroom on here in black lettering or something. I'm not sure if Lucy's keen on that idea. I think she'd quite like it to look sleek and sort of not bring attention to it as much. But I just think, you know what, it's Ava's bedroom. Let's, let's put a label on it. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, 
first coat done. I'm actually annoyed, it's my own fault. I've got, um, I didn't wear my old painting trackies, um, so I wore my nice ones and they've um, got paint on them and my camera's got paint all over it, which I think will just scratch off, but I'm such an idiot. But anyway, yeah, first coat is done, looking a lot better. Hey guys, it's two weeks later and I still haven't finished Ava's crate. I'm only just now getting to screw the door in. It's really hard to do this without anyone else here, so I'm anticipating that it won't go well. Um, I've already drilled some holes into the frame where I think they should go, and I'm gonna attempt to put the door, well, put the first bit of hinges on the door, on the frame. I can't talk. Let's give it a go. Okay. It's in a little bit. <coughs> now, that is the hardest part done. Okay, first set of screws are in. They need tightening, but I don't want to do them too tight just yet. I now need to line this one up. So I've got my pencil. Just gonna do. <sighs> How do people do DIY vlogs? How do they do it? I need a cameraman or a woman. Okay, both sets are on and it doesn't quite close, but this is what I needed because I couldn't quite work out. Sometimes it fits, sometimes it didn't. So. It just shows me that I just need to take, I think it's catching in the middle here and at the bottom. At the top it, it looks okay. Can go in at the top, just not at the bottom. So I just need to take some more off. What's really fun is that the sander has given up. So that's good. <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait another few more weeks because that seems to be my work ethic with this project. I'm like leaving it weeks between every step. But yeah, hopefully the sander has just overheated and um, it will come back to life. Right, it is a few weeks later. It's always a few weeks later. This project has literally taken me forever. It's been four months since we moved in. This was supposed to be done in like the first two weeks, but here we are. Anyway, Ava has been sleeping in her cupboard for the last week and a bit, maybe nearly two weeks now, and she is absolutely loving it. Her first night, she was a little bit uncertain, but then every other night she just takes herself in there. She knows it's her bed, it's so cute, but let me show you. So this is now what it looks like from the outside, which is really nice. It just utilizes that space. That's, that, that cupboard was dead space, really. You'd have to sort of get on your hands and knees to get in there. And obviously having her crate out would take up so much space. This has really utilized it. The door from the Rustic Mill Company looks incredible. This is the locking system that came with it. I mean, it's not complicated. I call it a locking system. It's a lock. Um, but this opens up and I've actually got her a new bed. So this is her old bed <laughs> and I put this in today. Um, but she absolutely loves it. So the pipes have been completely boxed in here um, and painted. I just cover this up just to make it a little bit softer. And her bed, her new bed, which she hasn't slept on yet, just goes in here and she really likes it. It's so cute. I have a video of me waking her up on her first morning using it um, and I sent it to my family. So I'll include that now. Hello. Good morning. But yeah, that is her. So this is her other bed. And once we've redecorated down here, the TV will be on the wall. Her bed will be in this alcove, so we will get rid of that. And this is her day bed. We call it her day bed. But you like it, don't you? Yeah. You're a very lucky girl. Good girl. I've just been away for the weekend and she's been playing with dogs all weekend, so she's very tired. But anyway, that is the final project. So now I need your guys' advice because what I'd quite like to do is maybe put some stencils up here or a sign that says Ava's bedroom. I'm thinking how else can I make this quite a cozy bedroom for her? Some of you guys have noticed this picture. Let me find it for you. Lucy got me this as a gift for my birthday. It's Ava in a royal outfit. It's so funny. Part of me is thinking maybe we should put it up <laughs> in her bedroom, <laughs> just on the wall, or we could pop it on this wall just so it's Ava's little corner, but I don't know. But any suggestions of how we can make this a cute little bedroom, make it even cuter, let me know. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's, it's a bit different to my usual type of video. I don't normally just do sort of the process of one DIY project, but there we go. And I know loads of you have been asking me about it. Um, because I've said I was going to do it ever since I moved in. It's now been four months since I moved in. Really, really pleased with it. It now tidies up the space. However, the reason I'm not showing you the rest of the space is because it's actually not tidy because we've just got a brand new dining table and we've got our old dining table. Plus, I've still got 
the mirror here, the fitness mirror, and it's just a little bit of a mess, but I'm gonna show you the new dining table in another vlog. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. I really mean it. Please, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps. Don't make me beg. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.